<clears throat> so as of right now, we're doing we're gonna do a chase scene. Uh, that guy just ran a red light. So that's gonna proceed to pull him over. And when they pull him over, the civilian is gonna have a chance to run. And when he does run, I'll let you guys watch how this plays out. So Seth is, or er, so Officer Rick's gonna get out of the vehicle. He's gonna walk up, ask him to roll down his window, and he's gonna hey, ask man. him for license and registration. Hey man, how you doing? Doing really good, Harry. I noticed you run that red light back there. Is there any reason why? I didn't, I didn't realize, realize it was red. I didn't realize it was red, huh? Uh, you got your license and registration on you? And what the officer does is quickly come back and get in the vehicle and proceed to chase him. And during a chase, a civilian and a police officer. The police officer, you want to give the vehicle, uh, if you want to run the RP out, you want to give him some distance. And I would say a good five minutes of chasing is when you can go into pit. As a civilian, you want to like run, you want to run from the cops, but you don't want to break their ankles. You don't want to leave them. Like, you want to run the RP out as long as possible. You want to try and get away in... You want to try to get away, but you don't want to, like, just straight up run and then the co lose the cop immediately. So you want to give them a chance, you know what I mean? So run. You come around these roads, you know, trying to lose them. If you can lose them by just staying under 100 miles an hour, you deserve to be free. So... What you want to do is you want to stay in your area of play. See, so he's taking a route right here. There is a bridge out down here, so he is going to have to either stop or or, set, or turn around and come back the other direction. So Seth's going to continue the chase. Again, set a timer. You, you want a, a timer around five minutes before you start aggressively uh, trying to get him to pull over, which is like pitting or running him against a guardrail or some sort. You never want to just bash into the car. You bash into the car and it's like kind of OP because it kills the vehicle, it also kills yours, so it risks your vehicle being damaged and broken and letting the, you know, letting the civilian get away. So let's say the timer is up. It's been five minutes. The chase has gone on pretty while, for a pretty good while. Seth has an option to get up on him and start trying to pit him, but not an aggressive way. Just, you know, just spin the car out to where, you know, he will be able to detain him when the car spins out. Also, you don't want to be doing any GTA driving. So some people will, so he's going in for the pit now. And he crashes. So now he's getting out of the vehicle. He's running on foot. So what Seth is going to do is proceed on foot with his taser out. You do not want to go lethal until the... There you go. See? He's, he's got him taken down. Seth walks up to him with his uh, thing, with his taser drawed and cuffs him and lets him know that he is in custody and attaches to him to take him back to the police car. During these moments where you are running from the police and the police are on your tail, you do not want to what they call GTA Drive. GTA Drive is where you're just flying into mountains and jumping and the cars, you know, it looks like an airplane. You do not want to do that kind of stuff. It takes the fun out of the RP. And when he gets when he gets back to the car, so what he'll do is he'll read him his rights, tell him he's under arrest, searches his body, puts him in the back of the car. It's your typical, you know, police encounterment. So we'll skip all that, but that's you know typically what you're gonna do. He's gonna take him back down to the jail, and and book him for, you know, what he needed to book him for, and. Before he leaves, he'll get into the vehicle here. 
and he'll go to vehicle related options I can show you now that I'm in a vehicle and delete vehicle and that's considered towing a vehicle if you don't have anybody to come over here and tow it with a tow truck or if you don't have a towing script so now I'll take him to the jail put him in the holding cell book him and send him to jail with the jail script of the choosing of the server has and then that's pretty much it on the RP being pulled over side and that's being pulled over and booked and being pulled over and then getting into a chase hope you enjoyed this video if you did like like then subscribe we'll have more videos coming out soon uh, on 5m tutorials so again I hope you like the video if you enjoyed it I'll see you in the next one and good you don't have a lot of editing.